All right, in this video, I'm doing a comparison between a 35 amp hour sealed lead acid and the homemade lithium polymer battery bank. And we're going to see which one has more usable power, 35 amp hour or uh, lithium polymer batteries. <coughs> and I got my load on it. It's just my uh, computer, just like uh, all my videos, running my computer. And I will be gaming off of it, which will pull about 15 amps from the battery. And uh, we'll see. All right, so after playing a bit of... There we go. <sighs> the voltage is sitting at 11.3. We have, what's the amp hours here? Wait for it to cycle. 11.6 amp hours out of a 35 amp hour battery. It still has life, obviously, but pulling it at a high rate of discharge, I have my screen min minimized. Now I'm going to bring up Rilla tanks, which takes more power, and the voltage starts dropping. It just, when I was in game, it started beeping at me, uh, just like that. It beeps fairly early, uh, as you can see, it's only 10.8 uh, volts, and it's already starting to complain and beep. That's the voltage that the inverter is oh, I keep getting text. Sorry about that. So I'm going to stop this experiment for now. And uh, and that's just the difference. This is a th rated 35 amp hour battery. Here, i got to minimize the screen again so it takes less power. There we go. So that's the voltage. Uh, this battery was charged. Um, it's about a year and a half old. Uh, still has pretty much full capacity. Uh, but to get the rest of this power, I have to let this thing go down 10 volts. I'd probably end up with something like, uh, I don't know, 16, 17, 18 amp hours out of the battery. But the battery still wouldn't be completely dead because this battery is rated at 35 amp hours over 20 hours. And that's, I'm not sure what the discharge voltage is, but uh, obviously I'm doing this test quite a bit quicker. Uh, I did this test over approximately an hour, hour and a half max. And that's the kind of amp hours you're going to get out of a 35 amp hour battery versus. I can pull this exact same load out of these lithium polymer batteries and I can get about 30 or sorry I got 27 and a half amp hours before this started beeping so that just shows you the difference here um, so I got almost 12 amp hours out of this 35 amp hour and the difference is a huge difference in weight like this one is probably I would say let's see here okay yeah I would say this one's two to two and a half times, maybe three times heavier than this one here. Uh, this battery, brand new at a battery shop, cost me, this was back before I knew how to find any deals, $120 for this battery. AGM, it's a high quality one. Um, all these lithium polymers together cost me, let's see, 25 50, 100, 125, looks like $225. So $225 versus $120. So there's a difference in price, obviously. Um, yes, if I would have spent $240, got two of these, it would have been about the same amp hours as, as these batteries. But then it would have been like five six times heavier than this um, so really amp hours wise per amp hours they're about the same price if not cheaper and they're lighter the only difference is these won't uh, put out like normal light bulbs can put out a, a serious amount of current but these blue ones that you get off ebay have a protection circuit in them and each can only provide up to four amps each or maybe it's like five amps. I don't know. It's something like that. Because I can pull approximately right now. I can pull about uh, four to five hundred watts out of these. This, if I wanted to, I could pull about a thousand watts for a short period of time. 
if not more. So there is advantages and disadvantages to these batteries that I have. But normal LiPos, like a 11.1 volt LiPo, if you put a bunch of those in series and did a setup like this, um, would be way more powerful than that. They would have a higher uh, surge rating as well. So it's just uh, some comparisons I was doing. It's still like it's still running my laptop. My laptop's taking. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this. 50 watts at a 50 watt load. I'm at 13 point or 11.3 volts, and uh, it's it's running nicely. I'm sure I could go easily till. Uh, I bet you I could go to at least 15 or 16 amp hours, maybe higher, 17 amp hours. But just thought I'd do this comparison. Uh, I use I was just running it till this beeped mostly, um, but I'm sure I'm I'm sure this could easily go to to about 17 amp hours. This battery, if drawn at this uh, level of discharge. Anyways, that's my uh, short video on the comparison between my two ammo box batteries, and uh, just thought I'd like to share it. If you guys liked it, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of these types of videos, and even some Jeep videos, uh, subscribe.